Julia Child Julia Carolyn Child was an American chef, author, and television personality. She is recognized for bringing French cuisine to the American public with her debut cookbook, Mastering the Art of French Cooking, and her subsequent television programs, the most notable of which was The French Chef, which premiered in 1963. Childhood and Education Child was born Julia Carolyn McWilliams in Pasadena, California, the daughter of John McWilliams, Jr., a Princeton University graduate and prominent land manager, and his wife, the former Julia Carolyn, Caro Weston, a paper company heiress whose father, Byron Curtis Weston, served as Lieutenant Governor of Massachusetts. The eldest of three children, she had a brother, John III, 1914 to 2002, and a sister, Dorothy Dean Cousins, 1917 to 2006. Child attended Westridge School, Polytechnic School from fourth grade to ninth grade, then the Catherine Branson School in Ross, California, which was at the time a boarding school. At six feet, two inches, 1.88 m, tall, Child played tennis, golf, and basketball as a child and continued to play sports while attending Smith College, from which he graduated in 1934 with a major in English. A press release issued by Smith in 2004 states that her major was history. Following her graduation from college, Child moved to New York City, where she worked as a copywriter for the advertising department of upscale home furnishing firm W. and J. Sloan. Returning to California in 1937, she spent the next four years writing for local publications, working in advertising, and volunteering with the Junior League of Pasadena. World War II Child joined the Office of Strategic Services, OSS, after finding that she was too tall to enlist in the Women's Army Corps, WACs, or in the U.S. Navy's waves. She began her OSS career as a typist at its headquarters in Washington, but because of her education and experience soon was given a more responsible position as a top-secret researcher working directly for the head of OSS, General William J. Donovan. As a research assistant in the Secret Intelligence Division, she typed 10,000 names on white note cards to keep track of officers. For a year, she worked at the OSS Emergency Rescue Equipment Section, ERES, in Washington, D.C. As a file clerk and then as an assistant to developers of a shark repellent needed to ensure that sharks would not explode ordnance targeting German U-boats. In 1944 she was posted to Kandy, Ceylon, now Sri Lanka, where her responsibilities included registering, cataloging and channeling a great volume of highly classified communications for the OSS's clandestine stations in Asia. She was later posted to China where she received the emblem of meritorious civilian service as head of the registry of the OSS Secretariat. For her service, Child received an award that cited her many virtues, including her drive and inherent cheerfulness. As with other OSS records, her file was declassified in 2008, and, unlike other files, her complete file is available online. While in Ceylon, she met Paul Cushing Child, also an OSS employee and the two were married September 1, 1946, in Lumberville, Pennsylvania, later moving to Washington, D.C. A New Jersey native who had lived in Paris as an artist and poet, Paul was known for his sophisticated palate, and introduced his wife to fine cuisine. He joined the United States Foreign Service, and in 1948 the couple moved to Paris when the U.S. State Department assigned Paul as an exhibits officer with the United States Information Agency. The couple had no children. Post-war France Child repeatedly recalled her first meal in Rouen as a culinary revelation. Once, she described the meal of oysters, sole meunier, and fine wine to the New York Times as an opening up of the soul and spirit for me. In Paris, she attended the famous Le Cordon Bleu cooking school and later studied privately with Max Beinard and other master chefs. She joined the women's cooking club Carcal des Gourmets, through which she met Simone Beck, who was writing a French cookbook for Americans with her friend Louisette Berth. Beck proposed that Child work with them, to make the book appeal to Americans. 
In 1951, Child, Beck, and Bertha began to teach cooking to American women in Child's Paris kitchen, calling their informal school Col des Trois Gourmands, the school of the three food lovers. For the next decade, as the Childs moved around Europe and finally to Cambridge, Massachusetts, the three researched and repeatedly tested recipes. Child translated the French into English, making the recipes detailed, interesting, and practical. In 1963, the Childs built a home near the Provence town of Plascassia in the hills above Cannes on property belonging to co-author Simone Beck and her husband, Jean Fishbacher. The Childs named it La Pichon, a Provencal word meaning the little one, but over time the property was often affectionately referred to simply as La Peach. Media career The three would-be authors initially signed a contract with publisher Horton Mifflin, which later rejected the manuscript for seeming too much like an encyclopedia. Finally, when it was first published in 1961 by Alfred A. Knopf, the 726-page Mastering the Art of French Cooking was a bestseller and received critical acclaim that derived in part from the American interest in French culture in the early 1960s. Lauded for its helpful illustrations and precise attention to detail, and for making fine cuisine accessible, the book is still in print and is considered a seminal culinary work. Following this success, Child wrote magazine articles and a regular column for the Boston Globe newspaper. She would go on to publish nearly 20 titles under her name and with others. Many, though not all, were related to her television shows. Her last book was the autobiographical My Life in France, published posthumously in 2006 and written with her grandnephew, Alex Prudhomme. The book recounts Child's life with her husband, Paul Child, in post-World War II France. The French Chef in Related Books a 1962 appearance on a book review show on the national educational television, an E.T., station of Boston, WGBH, led to the inception of her first television cooking show after viewers enjoyed her demonstration of how to cook an omelette. The French Chef had its debut on February 11, 1963, on WGBH and was immediately successful. The show ran nationally for ten years and won Peabody and Emmy Awards including the first Emmy Award for an educational program. Though she was not the first television cook, Child was the most widely seen. She attracted the broadest audience with her cheery enthusiasm, distinctively charming warbly voice, and unpatronizing and unaffected manner. In 1972, The French Chef became the first television program to be captioned for the deaf, albeit in the preliminary technology of open captioning. Child's second book, the French Chef Cookbook, was a collection of the recipes she had demonstrated on the show. It was soon followed in 1971 by Mastering the Art of French Cooking, Volume 2, again in collaboration with Simone Beck, but not with Louisette Berthel, with whom the professional relationship had ended. Child's fourth book, From Julia Child's Kitchen, was illustrated with her husband's photographs and documented the color series of The French Chef as well as providing an extensive library of kitchen notes compiled by Child during the course of the show. Later career In the 1970s and 1980s, she was the star of numerous television programs, including Julia Child and Company, Julia Child and More Company and Dinner at Julia's. For the 1979 book Julia Child and More Company she won a National Book Award in category Current Interest. In 1981 she founded the American Institute of Wine and Food, with vintners Robert Mondavi and Richard Graff, and others, to advance the understanding, appreciation and quality of wine and food, a pursuit she had already begun with her books and television appearances. In 1989, she published what she considered her magnum opus, a book and instructional video series collectively entitled The Way to Cook. Child starred in four more series in the 1990s that featured guest chefs, Cooking with Master Chefs, In Julia's Kitchen with Master Chefs, Baking with Julia, and Julia Child and Jacques Pin Cooking at Home. She collaborated with Jacques Pin many times for television programs and cookbooks. All of Child's books during this time stemmed from the television series of the same names.
Child's use of ingredients like butter and cream has been questioned by food critics and modern-day nutritionists. She addressed these criticisms throughout her career, predicting that a fanatical fear of food would take over the country's dining habits, and that focusing too much on nutrition takes the pleasure from enjoying food. In a 1990 interview, Child said, Everybody is overreacting. If fear of food continues, it will be the death of gastronomy in the United States. Fortunately, the French don't suffer from the same hysteria we do. We should enjoy food and have fun. It is one of the simplest and nicest pleasures in life. Julia Child's kitchen, designed by her husband, was the setting for three of her television shows. It is now on display at the National Museum of American History in Washington, D.C. Beginning with In Julia's Kitchen with Master Chefs, the child's home kitchen in Cambridge was fully transformed into a functional set, with TV-quality lighting, three cameras positioned to catch all angles in the room, and a massive center island with a gas stove top on one side and an electric stove top on the other, but leaving the rest of the child's appliances alone, including my wall oven with its squeaking door. This kitchen backdrop hosted nearly all of Child's 1990s television series. Last Years and Posthumous After the death of her beloved friend Simone Beck, Child relinquished La Pichon after a month-long stay in June 1992 with her family, her niece, Villa, and close friend and biographer, Noel Riley Fitch. She turned the keys over to Jean Fishbatch's sister, just as she and Paul had promised nearly 30 years earlier. Also in 1992, Julia spent five days in Sicily at the invitation of Regalili Winery. American journalist Bob Spiss spent a brief time with Julia during that period while he was researching and writing his then-working title, History of Eating and Cooking in America. Spiss took notes and made many recordings of his conversation with Child and these later formed the basis of a secondary biography on Child. Published August 7, 2012, not five days before the centennial of her birth date. Paul Child, who was ten years older than his wife, died in 1994 after living in a nursing home for five years following a series of strokes in 1989. In 2001, Child moved to a retirement community, donating her house and office to Smith College, which later sold the house. She donated her kitchen which her husband designed with high counters to accommodate her height, and which served as the set for three of her television series, to the National Museum of American History, where it is now on display. Her iconic copper pots and pans were on display at COPIA in Napa, California, until August 2009 when they were reunited with her kitchen at the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History in Washington, D.C. In 2000, Child received the French Legion of Honor and was elected a Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 2000. She was awarded the U.S. Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2003. She also received honorary doctorates from Harvard University, Johnson and Wales University, 1995, Smith College, her alma mater, Brown University, 2000, and several other universities. On August 13, 2004, Julia Child died of kidney failure at her retirement community home, Casa do Rinda, in Montecito, California, two days before her 92nd birthday. Her last meal was French onion soup. Child ended her last book, My Life in France, with Thinking back on it now reminds that the pleasures of the table, and of life, are infinite, Tao Jaws Bon Appetit. Legacy the Julia Child Foundation While she was still alive, in 1995, Julia Child established the Julia Child Foundation for Gastronomy and Culinary Arts, a private charitable foundation to make grants to further her life's work. The foundation, originally set up in Massachusetts, later moved to Santa Barbara, California, where it is now headquartered. Inactive until after Julia's death in 2004. The foundation makes grants to other non-profits. The grants support primarily gastronomy, the culinary arts and the further development of the professional food world, all matters of paramount importance to Julia Child during her lifetime. 
The Foundation's website provides a dedicated page listing the names of grant recipients with a description of the organization and the grant provided by the Foundation. Beyond making grants, the Foundation was also established to protect Julia Child's legacy. It is the organization to approach to seek permission to use images of Julia Child and or excerpts of her work. Many of these rights are jointly held with other organizations like her publishers and the Schlesinger Library at the Radcliffe Institute at Harvard University who may also need to be contacted. Recently, the Foundation has been more active in protecting these posthumous rights. Well known for her opposition to endorsements, the Foundation follows a similar policy regarding the use of Julia's name and image for commercial purposes. Tributes and Homages the Julia Child Rose, known in the UK as the Absolutely Fabulous Rose, is a golden butter gold flow ribunda rose named after Child. Awards and nominations 1965, Peabody Award for Personal Award for the French Chef, 1966, Emmy for Achievements in Educational Television Individuals for the French Chef, 1980, US. National Book Awards for Current Interest Hardcover, for Julia Child and More Company, 1996, Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Service Show Host for In Julia's Kitchen with Master Chefs, 2001, Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Service Show Host for Julia and Jacques Cooking at Home, 1972, Emmy for Special Classification of Outstanding Program and Individual Achievement, General Programming for the French Chef, 1994, Emmy for Outstanding Informational Series for Cooking with Master Chefs, 1997, Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Service Show Host for Baking with Julia, 1999, Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Service Show Host for Baking with Julia, 2000, Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Service Show Host for Julia and Jacques Cooking at Home. In Popular Culture Child was a favorite of audiences from the moment of her television debut on public television in 1963, and she was a familiar part of American culture and a subject of numerous references, including numerous parodies in television and radio programs and skits. Her great success on air may have been tied to her refreshingly pragmatic approach to the genre, I think you have to decide who your audience is. If you don't pick your audience, you're lost because you're not really talking to anybody. My audience is people who like to cook, who want to really learn how to do it. In 1996, Julia Child was ranked number 46 on TV Guide's 50 Greatest TV Stars of All Time. In Music The Bob's 2013 song Julia's Too Tall, from the album Biographies, is an a cappella rap retelling of Child's rise to prominence including her early days working for the U.S. government as an intelligence research assistant, her time was well spent slash she got acknowledgement slash she even helped develop shark repellent. The title is a reference to her ineligibility for certain military service due to her height. She's too tall to be a spy slash but not too tall to bake a pie. The song has been included in first round 2013 Grammy ballots under Best Rap Song and Best Rap Performance. In film, Jean Stapleton portrayed Child in a 1989 musical, Bon Appetit, based on one of Child's televised cooking lessons. The title derived from her famous TV sign off, This is Julia Child. Bon Appetit. In 1993, Child was the voice of Dr. Juliette Bleeb in the children's film We're Back A Dinosaur's Story. In the film Mrs. Doubtfire, Robin Williams, disguised as a woman, View Julia Child's videos in order to learn how to cook to keep up appearances of being an excellent nanny. In print In 1966, Child was featured on the cover of Time with the heading, Our Lady of the Ladle. On television She was the inspiration for the character Julia grown up on the children's television workshop program, The Electric Company, 1971-1977 in a 1978 Saturday Night Live sketch, episode 74, she was parodied by Dan Aykroyd, who, as Julia Child, continued with a cooking show despite ludicrously profuse bleeding from a cup to his thumb, and eventually expired while advising, save the liver. 
Child reportedly loved this sketch so much she showed it to friends at parties. She was parodied on The Cosby Show in the 1984 episode Bonjour Sandra by characters Cliff and Theo Huxtable. She appeared in an episode of This Old House as designer of the kitchen. This Old House was launched in 1979 by Russell Marash, who helped create The French Chef with Julia Child. In 1982, she was portrayed by John Candy in a sketch for Second City Television, Battle of the PBS Stars, in which she took part in a boxing match against fellow PBS star Mr. Rogers, who was parodied by Martin Short. Julia lost the match after taking multiple blows to the head from Rogers' puppet King Friday. Julie Julia In 2002, Child was the inspiration for the Julie Julia Project, a popular cooking blog by Julie Powell that was the basis of Powell's 2005 best-selling book, Julie and Julia, 365 Days, 524 Recipes, One Tiny Apartment Kitchen. The paperback version of the book was retitled Julie and Julia, My Year of Cooking Dangerously. The blog and book, along with Child's own memoir My Life in France, in turn inspired the 2009 feature film Julie and Julia in which Meryl Streep portrayed Child. For her performance, Streep received an Academy Award for Best Actress nomination. Child is reported to have been unimpressed by Powell's blog, believing Powell's determination to cook every recipe in mastering the art of French cooking in a year to be a stunt. Child's editor, Judith Jones, said in an interview, flinging around four-letter words when cooking isn't attractive, to me or Julia. She didn't want to endorse it. What came through on the blog was somebody who was doing it almost for the sake of a stunt. She would never really describe the end results, how delicious it was, and what she learned. Julia didn't like what she called the flimsies. She didn't suffer fools, if you know what I mean. Works by Child Television Series The French Chef, 1963 1973, Julia Child and Company, 1978 1979, Julia Child and More Company, 1980 1982, Dinner at Julia's, 1983 1985, The Way to Cook, 1989, Six One Hour Video Cassettes, A Birthday Party for Julia Child, Compliments to the Chef, 1992. Cooking with Master Chefs, hosted by Julia Child, 1993 to 1994, 16 episodes. Cooking in Concert, Julia Child and Jacques Pin, 1993. In Julia's Kitchen with Master Chefs, 1994 to 1996, 39 episodes. Cooking in Concert, Julia Child and Jacques Pin, 1995. Baking with Julia, 1996 to 1998. 39 episodes. Julia and Jacques Cooking at Home, 1999 to 2000, 22 episodes. Julia Child's Kitchen Wisdom, 2000, 2 hour special. DVD releases Julia Child's Kitchen Wisdom, 2000. Julia and Jacques Cooking at Home, 2003. Julia Child, America's Favorite Chef, 2004. The French Chef, Volume 1. 2005, The French Chef, Volume 2, 2005, Julia Child, The French Chef, 2006, The Way to Cook, 2009, Baking with Julia, 2009. Books Mastering the Art of French Cooking, 1961, with Simone Beck and Louisette Berth, The French Chef Cookbook, 1968. ISBN 0-394-40135-2, Mastering the Art of French Cooking, Volume 2, 1970, with Simone Beck, ISBN 0-394-40152-2, From Julia Child's Kitchen, 1975, ISBN 0-517-20712-5, Julia Child and Company. 1978, ISBN 0-345-31449-2, Julia Child and More Company, 1979, ISBN 0-345-31450-6, The Way to Cook, 1989, 
ISBN 0-394-53264-3, Julia Child's Menu Cookbook, 1991, one volume edition of Julia Child and Company and Julia Child and More Company, ISBN 0-517-06485-5, Cooking with Master Chefs, 1993, ISBN 0-679-74829-6. In Julia's Kitchen with Master Chefs, 1995, ISBN 0-679-43896-3, Baking with Julia, 1996, ISBN 0-688-14657-0, Julia's Delicious Little Dinners, 1998, ISBN 0-375-40336-1, Julia's Menus for Special Occasions, 1998, ISBN 0-375-40338-8, Julia's Breakfasts, Lunches and Suppers, 1999, ISBN 0-375-40339-6, Julia's Casual Dinners, 1999, ISBN 0-375-40337-X. Julia and Jacques Cooking at Home, 1999, with Jack Pin, ISBN 0-375-40431-7, Julia's Kitchen Wisdom, 2000, ISBN 0-375-41151-8, My Life in France, 2006, Posthumous, with Alex Prudhomme, ISBN 1-4000-4346-8, Collected in, American Food Writing, an Anthology with Classic Recipes, ed. Molly O'Neill, Library of America, 2007, ISBN 1-59853-005-4. Books About Child Bar, Nancy Verd, March 28, 2008. Backstage with Julia, My Years with Julia Child. John Wiley and Sons. ISBN 978-0-470-27637-2. Retrieved October 14, 2011. Conant, Janet, April 5, 2011. A Cover Affair, Julia Child and Paul Child in the OSS. Simon & Schuster. ISBN 978-1-4391-6352-8. Retrieved October 14, 2011. Fetch, Noel Riley, April 13, 1999. Appetite for Life, The Biography of Julia Child. Random House Digital, Inc. ISBN 978-0-385-49383-3. Retrieved October 14, 2011. Painter, Charlotte. Vorlois, Pamela. 1985. Gifts of Age, Portraits and Essays of 32 Remarkable Women. Chronicle Books. ISBN 978-0-87701-368-6. Retrieved October 14, 2011. Reardon, Joan, December 1, 2010. As always, Julia, The Letters of Julia Child and Avis Devoto. Horton Mifflin Harcourt. ISBN 978-0-547-41771-4. Retrieved October 14, 2011. Shapiro, Laura, August 1, 2009. Julia Child, A Life. Penguin. ISBN 978-0-14-311678. Retrieved October 14, 2011. Spiz, Bob, August 7, 2012. Deary, The Remarkable Life of Julia Child, N Notes Available on Author's Site. Alfred A. North. ISBN 978-0-307-47341-7. Retrieved August 7, 2012. Films About Child. Produced by WGBH, a one-hour feature documentary, Julia Child.
America's Favorite Chef, was aired as the first episode of the 18th season of the PBS series American Masters, 2004. The film combined archive footage of Child with current footage from those who influenced and were influenced by her life and work. Julie and Julia, 2009, is a film adapted by Nora Ephron from Child's memoir My Life in France and from Julie Powell's memoir. Meryl Streep Play Child The film won a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Leading Role in a Musical or Comedy. A film titled Primordial Soup with Julia Child was on display at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum's Life in the Universe Gallery from 1976 until the gallery closed. Keep on Cooking, Julia Child Remixed, a video produced for PBS by John D. Boswell, also known as Melody Sheep, as part of the PBS Icons Remixed series in commemoration of Child's 100th birthday. Child's voice is auto-tuned to a melody derived from vocal samples, with synchronized video clips from Child's various television